Hey everybody, this is Corey back at the Coach's Hangout. This week we got a submission from a student on a concept called disinflation. Now, she knew what inflation was and deflation too, but disinflation confused her. Here at CY Learning, we understand how powerful memory aids can be, especially visual ones like this balloon. Not only is my happy friend here gonna help you understand this concept, he's gonna help you remember it on exam day too. Okay, so this question is basically testing on whether or not you know what the, what the term disinflation means. Most people know what inflation means even before they you know, register in a financial services course. Uh, it's a fairly common term, you hear it on the news all the time. Inflation is essentially a measure of, of how much the price of the things that we as Canadians buy on a regular basis um, or consume, how much the price increases from one period to another. If you've added the e-learning video lessons to your account, you'll find one there called um, inflation and real return. And we have a pretty in-depth explanation on this concept in the study guide as well. So at this point, I'm going to assume that you have a pretty good handle on inflation. If you don't, that's okay. Go back and watch that video, give the study guide another quick read through, and then come back and finish this Coach's Hangout video response. For now, let me just run through a quick summary of inflation. So a second ago, I said that inflation measures how much prices increase from one period to another, okay? But do you think that the government, or more specifically Statistics Canada, actually tracks the price of every single good and service in the country? Of course not, that would be virtually impossible. So instead, the government tracks the price of what we call a basket of goods. Um, now, this all ties into something called the Consumer Price Index, or CPI. That's an acronym you might have seen before. Now, the goods in the basket, um, they're a fair representation of what most Canadians buy on a regular basis. It includes things like um, gas and milk and uh, haircuts and appliances and smartphones, that sort of stuff. It doesn't include things like rare manuscripts and private jets and NHL season tickets. That's, it's just basic day-to-day -day stuff. Now don't worry, you don't need to know all of the products that make up the CPI for your exam. You just have to get that if the price of this basket of goods increases by say 3% from one period to the next, we would say that inflation has been 3% over that period. All right, so that's the basic technical definition of inflation. But let me demonstrate for you. Let's say that this balloon is the consumer price index. So let's introduce a little inflation into the economy. Okay, it's getting bigger, right? Prices are getting higher. That's obviously inflation, all right? But watch this. What do we call that? Obviously, deflation. It's just the opposite of inflation, right? It's when prices are actually falling. So with this in mind, let's take a peek at the answers here. And we see that answer A, a reduction in prices from year to year, is essentially the definition of deflation. Not disinflation like this question is asking about, but deflation. So let's go ahead and eliminate this one. All right, gone. Okay, uh, side note. While we're talking about deflation, um, what would you say if I asked you if you think deflation is a good thing? Well, your first instinct would probably be to answer, heck yeah, who doesn't like lower prices? But in reality, deflation is actually really, really bad for the economy. Just like I let the air out of this balloon, um, deflation represents, I might as well stay with the analogy, it's like letting air out of the economy. For example, if you needed a brand new car, but you knew cars were gonna be cheaper two, three, four, six months from now, you'd likely push off your purchase until later. And if everybody did that for all of the goods that are in that basket, the things that Canadians buy on a regular basis, sales would fall off a cliff, profits would really fall, and people would end up out of work. It's not a good thing. Okay, so that's deflation. What about disinflation? Well, a lot of people think that deflation and disinflation are the same thing. They sound so close. And in fact, many students jump right on uh, answer A in this question because it sounds right. But that's not the case. In fact, disinflation is actually a form of inflation. Let me show you, okay? That's inflation. So is that, and 
so is that. But you'll notice that I wasn't inflating the balloon as quickly. It still got bigger, but not at the same rate as it was before. That's disinflation. It's a reduction in inflation. So for example, if inflation was 3%, but it's now only 2%, it would be called disinflation. We still have inflation, just not as high as it was before. In other words, prices are still increasing, just not as fast. Now, if we look at the answers here, we see answer B, a reduction in inflation from year to year, that looks good. So let's go ahead and pick that. We still have inflation, it's just less inflation. Answer B, there we go. And that's the right answer, cool. Okay, so let's just put a bow on all of this. Answer C, a reduction in deflation from year to year. Well, that may be an indication that, that there could be some light at the end of the tunnel um, if we were in some pretty tough times with an extended period of deflation, but that's not disinflation. Again, disinflation is still inflation, it's just less inflation. And finally, answer D, we completely made this up. It's, it's just a, it's a distractor. Actually, let me tie this back now to those exam tips that I was talking about before. One of the things that we address there is that sometimes on the exam, if you come across one of these really wordy answers when, when all of the other ones are shorter, it could very well be a red herring. Again, we address that in the top 10 trainer tips video uh, that you'll find on YouTube. All right, thanks everybody. I really appreciate you dropping into the coaches hangout. Keep those submissions coming and good luck on your exam.